Hi my sweet friends, welcome back. So today what we're going to be doing is a craft together, so let's get started. Okay my sweet friends, so today what we're going to do is an Easter reef. The one with the plastic board that we get at Dollar Tree. I'm, you're also going to need Ziploc ties and I have three packages. I don't know how many we'll need, maybe two and a half packages. I also have the mesh from the dollar store. You'll need about four rolls and then I have an Easter bunny to go in the middle. So, And then scissors to cut your zip ties. So that's everything you're going to need. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is, it's six inches wide normally, that's how wide it is, and then I'm going to do six inch uh, wide this way, so you want to do like pretty much a square, so you're just going to keep cutting them the best you can to get the six by six. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our zip ties ready, but not completely. So you're going to put it in one hole and bring it up through the other and then put your zip tie through its locking but pull it but not tight. Just going to do that all the way around. So the next two holes you're going to put your zip tie in, pull it out the other hole here and then put your zip tie in and pull but not tight and you're just going to keep doing that all the way around okay so I have all of the ziplocks in now so now you have your square so what you're going to do is take your corner to corner and try to get it as close as you can so it looks like a jellyfish and then you will scrunch it together so it's just like this both pieces scrunch it together twist and get your two tails upwards and then you're going to take your two tails you're going to place it in under your zip zip tie and you're going to pull your zip tie tight just like that and later you'll be able to fluff them up so there's one so we're going to do the next one we're going to go down into the corner to corner scrunch them up twist and pull the two ends up like rabbit ears and then push it in there and then pull your zip tie tight just like that so then it's secured down now if you feel like it's not secured down and you're worried about it coming out you can just put a dab of hot glue and hold them down so I'm going to continue doing that all the way around and then I'll be back. Okay, so I went all the way around the board and now we have our zip ties that need to be trimmed. So all I'm going to do is take my scissors. You could use whatever you have for cutting and we're just gonna trim off the excess of the zip tie just like that and I'm gonna do that all the way around okay so now we're on to the second row and what we're going to do is go in one hole and in and come up the other one so we're going to go in one, up the other, and we're again going to get it ready. For when you're going to 
pull it tight and we're gonna do every single hole this time so we're gonna go in one hole and up where we had put let me move this over a little there we go and up where we put the other zip tie from the previous hole so up in here and you're gonna do every hole and pull it tight until it's ready just like that we'll do the next one in one hole and up through the one you were just in so in out in out all the way around and then just tighten it down but not all the way just like that so and then we're gonna go in this hole and come out this hole in this hole at this hole you're gonna do every single hole all the way around okay so now we've got all the zip locks in every single hole in one hole out the other in one hole out the other and every single one of them all the way around they're not tightened down completely yet what you're gonna do your mesh the same way you did before you're gonna stick one in and two I'm gonna double it up and we're gonna put two under the one ziplock just like that and then we're gonna pull and tighten it down. So I have two in there now, and we're gonna go to the next one. So again, I have two ready. So you'll put one in under the Ziploc, the second one under the Ziploc, beside it and then pull down tight and this is how it should start looking it'll look a little more full and at the end you can fluff it up so I'm going to move that out of the way so you can see right here how it's more fluffy and more full so again I'll grab two more and I'll show you again so we're going to put it in let me turn it maybe this way will help we'll push it in under the ziplock that's ready I have the second one I'm going to push it in and under the ziplock and then tighten the ziplock just like that so I'm gonna do that all the way around and then I'll be back. Okay, so we went all the way around. There's two in each. I pulled the zip ties tight just like we did the previous row. We're going to cut the zip ties down now just like the previous row. And then we're going to do the zip ties again exactly like we just did now in one hole out the other in the same hole out the other in and out in and out all the way around so i'm just going to cut this down i'm going to get the zip ties ready and then i'll come back and show you how they look okay so now i have all the zip locks on the board fairly simple they are not pulled tight just yet so what we're going to do is grab our mesh have our two little rabbit ears ready just like that we're going to stick the two of them underneath exactly like the previous row and tighten two more so one two two rabbit ears one under the second one 
in and then pull and tighten and I'm going to do that all the way around and then I will be back okay so now I have two in each ziploc this row is now done all I'm going to do is like the previous rows and just cut off the zip ties and then I'm going to get the next row ready and when I come back I'll show you the next row ready okay so I have all the zip locks zip ties in all we're going to do is the same thing we did the previous round and we're just going to take our two rabbit ears one two push them underneath the ziploc and pull it tight and we're going to continue that all the way around so i'm just going to do that and then i'll be back okay so now what we got to do with this row again is just cut off the zip ties the extra now i want to go one more row and i've already went through the four packages I had of the mesh from the dollar store but I do have some pink so I'm going to do the final row around in pink so I'm going to cut the pieces for the six by six in pink and then I'll do the row just like I just did now so the final row I'm going to do and then there's one me little row and that one's not going to matter because we are going to put our bunny rabbit in the middle so we have to do one more round and I'm going to do it out of the pink and I'll be back. Okay, so I have all the zip ties in. They're not tight yet. Again, we're going to take our two rabbit ears. We're going to stuff them underneath and then pull and tighten down. And again, that's all we're going to do on this row. So take two and then we're going to stuff them underneath your zip tie and pull. And we're going to do that all the way around till we finish. Okay, so this row is now done. I'm just going to cut this down and of course now that I test it, I'm not liking how the zip ties look, so I am going to do the final row. So I'm going to do that again with pink. And that means I've used just about five ro rolls of mesh from the dollar store to finish this wreath. So it takes five of them and it's six by six. Okay, our last and final row, we have our zip locks ready, our zip ties ready. I'm going to take exactly what we did the row before, two pink ones, put them in under the zip tie, and pull tight. And this will be our final row. just like that I'm gonna do the rest of them and then I'll be back okay so I've done the last row and I've cut the zip ties so all I'm gonna do is take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna put some hot glue in the middle here just like this and then I'm gonna stick my rabbit down on the hot glue and get them secure and then you can fluff them up and do what you want I also have one piece of the mesh I was using before and I might just put a little dab of glue and give them a little bow tie and then I'm gonna take a picture and show you guys what it looks like at the end here thanks for watching 
Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do an upload. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye everyone.